Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. And I thought I'd come on because I read something today about power. And it says, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Hey, Eric. Thanks for joining me. So now, are there degrees of power? In our human existence, our mind wants to tell us that there are, but it's like, really? Power is power, and God is all powerful. We actually think in our heads, some of us, that we either have no power or we have all the power, and we give all the power to those folks who have all the money, <laughs> right? Or we feel that they have control over what we do, what we say, how we live, and all of that. But God gives us the power to change everything through our consciousness, through our actions, through our desires, through our intentions. We have that power to create a world that we absolutely love or a world that we absolutely hate. It's our thing. It's not anyone else's. We can either live in heaven or we can live in hell by our choices or our actions or the actions that we don't take. Good morning, William, how are you? And Bridget, hey, it's good to see you. Thank you, thank you. So. When we start thinking about power, God has given us his power to recreate our world. But before we can even do that, we have to think of who we are, not who's outside of us and what they're doing, but what are we doing? What am I doing to make my life better? What opportunities knock on our door and we never open the door to even look inside. And Lord, behold, we never take action to change anything. So many times I hear people talking about the things that are wrong with the world. And those are the things that we see. And as soon as we stop seeing all the things that we think are wrong, we should look within ourselves to see what's right. Our consciousness is what makes or breaks us. What we believe in our belief systems makes or breaks us. If you think you're sick, guess what? You are. If you think you're well, then guess what? You are. If you think you're abundant, guess what? You are. And But abundance starts with the little things, not the huge things, not the things like a million dollars. Because most of us make a million dollars before we die. We just don't keep it. Most of us live and can live in happiness, but we're too busy pointing the finger outside of self. We don't want to get over those things that we think hurt us. And in fact, they really helped us if we look at it. Some of us have so much pain that we refuse to even acknowledge that we get stuck in that pain. Some of us get into relationships for the wrong reasons and it brings on angst and anxiety. But then when we look at it, if we ever choose to look at it, before we jump into it, we'll see the things that benefit us or don't. I heard this saying one time says, says that, um, We must go within or go without. What does that mean? We must look inside of self if we want to get better. 
So I just wanted to stay there for a minute, think about it. There are no degrees of power in reality. We, we think they are, but we're only here to create my, our own world. I'm only here to create my own world. So if I get over stuff and not get stuck in, in the negativities of the world, I can bring out the best of me and thereby bringing out the best in everyone else. There is, There are no degrees of power unless we choose to make it that way. There is no absolute. God is the only thing that's absolute. He is who he is, or the spirit of God is always powerful. But he gives us power to change our experience here on earth. We need to clean out that old belief system and think about who we are and claim our loyalty, claim our place in this world and take some action. That's all we have to do. And there's so many ways to do it. So I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. Thank you, William. And remember, you have the power to change your world. No one else can do it for you. First, you have to look within. First, you have to see who you are. First, you have to claim your divinity. You are, I am, we will be. If we think we're powerful, guess what? We are. And we're all right. There is no wrong or right. There is no absolute way to do anything. We're on this lesson, this journey to create the world that we desire. No one else can do it for you, but you. No one else can do it for me, but me. Change your consciousness, change your perception, and the world around you, around you will change too. And you'll live in peace. So there's no absolute except for God. There is no wrong or all right. We make it what it is. And we have to stand in our power to do that. So I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. And just a commercial. In the next week or so, we're going to talk about on Meditate to You Levitate about forgiveness. We're going to do it with Ayana Van Zandt's forgiveness book forgiving everybody for everything because forgiveness will take you to a place of peace harmony love abundance but we have to learn first how to identify with that which we have to forgive and just forgive it get over it as our new book is get over it it's not that important what is important is that we learn to be the best human being that we can be in spite of it all. So we're going to talk about forgiveness starting Monday on the Meditate to You Levitate page. I will be posting there. I will be coming on live there at 630 and we'll talk about it. You have a good God day and know that you have the power to create your heaven right here on earth. Be blessed. I love you. Have a good God day.